Hey guys, it's Lacey here from Sir Dallas Brooks Rover Crew. Today, we're going to explore the clean water in our local area. For this activity, you'll need two litres of water, some measuring jugs and a tablespoon. First up, we're going to see how much water on all of Earth, in the whole Earth, is available for human consumption. So that means it's clean and fresh, ready for humans to drink. Our two litres of water will represent all of the water on Earth. So that's all the water in the ground, in the seas, in the lakes, in the streams, all of the water on Earth. The two main categories of water is fresh water and salt water. The first thing you need to do is decide how much water is fresh compared to salty. So in your two litres, being all of the world's water, how much will you put in your salt container compared to your fresh container? Have a go at that now, pause me, and then we'll see if you're correct. Wow, awesome job guys. Now let's have a look for the real one. Got my two litres of water, and I'm gonna put 50 mils into one container. beautiful 50 mils there. The rest of this container is the salt water. So we only have this tiny little bit left. Then the whole rest of the two litres, so one litre, 0.95 is salt water. So this is all the water in our oceans. The water in our oceans is salty and we can't drink this. An area that we would find this type of water in my local area is in Port Phillip Bay. Have a think of where you might find this type of water in your area. Maybe at, near the beach, a salty river. Where might you find salt water? Let me know in the comments below. Out of this 50 mils or 3% of the water left, now we're gonna have a think of another type of fresh water. So this is fresh water, but we still can't access it as humans. It's our ice caps. So all of that water that's held in places like Antarctica is ice, we can't turn on the tap and grab that out. So we have to account for that in the amount of water that's there for human use. Have a go putting in your container how much of the 50 mils you think is in the ice caps. Pause me and then play me to find out. Awesome job guys. So the correct amount of water that's equivalent for our two litre bottle is 35 mils. So from your 50 mils, put your 35 mils into another container. Awesome stuff. So 35 mils is what is held in the ice caps right here. Left, we should have 15 mils. That represents the rest of the fresh water on earth. So we have uh, 1.95 litres of water that's salt and we have our 35 millilitres of water that's held in ice caps. So there's still more places that water can hide from us as humans that we can't access. We find it in the air. Yes, I said in the air. There's water molecules in the air all the time. You might even see some clouds right now. Another place it's found is in the soil and underground, deep, deep underground. Now, what I want you to do is have a go at splitting this leftover water, so you've only got 15 mils left, into two jugs. One for the ground water, the air water and the soil. So the water in all three of those, and the leftover will be the water that we can use as humans. Okay, pause me now, have a go and play to find out. Wow, I wonder what you guys have left in your cups. Make sure you tag us if you post it on one of your Scout or Facebook pages, anything like that, so we can see what you guessed. Because the correct answer is 14.5 mils. Yeah, that's right. 14.5 out of the 15 mils of fresh water on Earth is in the ground, the air and the soil. So we've got the 35 in the ice cap and now 14.5 other places we can't get it. So in the air, like it's clouds and the ground underneath us. Let's measure that out now. Awesome. 
awesome job guys. So if you've got 14.5 mils in your jug, that means there's only 0.5. That's two drops left in your fresh water jug. You might not even have really anything left at all. It's about two drops. So they might just be on the side of the container. So we have our salt water. Our water that's in the ice. The water that's in our air and soil and underground. And lastly, our fresh water. They might have nearly nothing in it at all. Should be just under two drops of water. Well done. Let us know how hard you tried and how close you got to the right answers. Also have a think about where you might find this water in your area. For me, I would find my salt water near Port Phillip Bay. We don't have many ice caps around here. But our closest ones would be down in Antarctica. Nothing in our local area. The water in the air and soil, that's right here around us and beneath our feet. For fresh water, down here in Seaford, we have Tananook Creek, if you're far enough away from the sea, of course. The wetlands, the Seaford wetlands, and Patterson Lakes. Have a think where you could find some fresh water in your environment. If you're thinking about running a night on this activity, it could be a really cool time to go in and really explore those natural sources of water in person, but see what you can find. You can also run a discussion about what it means to have so little fresh water in the world, particularly here in Australia. What we use it for, how we save it, how we use it, and the culture around water usage. That's all for the activity this week. I'll see you next time for another environment-based activity. Bye.